Welcome to Pacifica Adventure Tours, your home away from home for the adventure-seeking backpacker. We specialize in tours centered on the east coast of Australia, the Fiji Islands, and the west coast of New Zealand. This region is rich in natural wonders, culture, and history. It's home to dozens of world heritage sites, including the Great Barrier Reef and a rainforest that predates the dinosaurs. It's also home to two of the world's oldest surviving cultures, going back about 60,000 years to the Aborigines and the Maori peoples. They left their marks all over the landscape in the form of rock paintings, and, will, and they continue to live in the region. Europeans settled in the area in the late 1700s, and their early struggles for survival have left a rich historical record. Our trips through this amazing land are all-inclusive, so it takes all the worry out of your trip. We do all the budgeting, we do all the planning. And each adventure is individualized and flexible, so that you get to a lot of individual choice. All of your meals, accommodations, air and land transfers are included as part of the package. Your 12-day Pacifica Odyssey begins in the beautiful city of Sydney, Australia. We'll meet up at our hotel, which overlooks the iconic opera house pictured here in the foreground. And then after a brief introduction, meeting your travel companions, we'll discuss different options for your day, for traveling around and exploring on your own. And then we'll meet up in the evening for some adventure. After a day adventuring in Sydney on our own, we'll meet up together at the Harbour Bridge for a sunset climb of the structure so that we can take pictures of the night sky. On day two, we'll travel to the Blue Mountains to take a look at the Three Sisters, these three rock formations that are found overlooking the Jameson Valley. They are famous because they are part of Aboriginal folklore. The Three Sisters supposedly fell in love with three men from neighboring tribes, and since intertribal marriage was forbidden, an elder witch doctor turned them into stone. All along our hike, we'll encounter Aboriginal drawings etched into the stone, and we'll learn lots about the culture of their Aboriginal peoples, including their tradition of the walkabout. We arrive in Cairns early in the evening, in time to enjoy the nightlife on the beachfront. Uh, Cairns is a frontier city. There's still a frontier spirit there. It's referred to as the gateway to the north, very similar to the way that the west was treated in America in the frontier time. Cairns is well situated right on the Great Barrier Reef, and we'll use that as our base of operations for a full day of diving. You'll get two dives in, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. This is the uh, largest reef in the world, and it has a bunch of species that you'll see nowhere else. Next, we'll drive up the coast to Port Douglas, where two natural wonders collide. The rainforest meets the Great Barrier Reef here. We'll explore the unique habitat of the mangroves along the coast, and then we'll zip line through the canopy to get a bird's eye view of the rainforest. After a nice dinner in Port Douglas, we'll camp under the stars at Mission Beach, a beautiful beach where white sharks actually come into the shore at night. You'll see cassowaries sometimes in the forest, and if you walk the beach, you're sure to find a sand dollar or two. In the morning, we'll head back to Cairns for our flight to Darwin. Darwin is a quaint little city, easily walked in one day. It has a lot of interesting attractions, though. It's known as the Top End because it's way up there on the top end of the country. Three things to see in our short stay in Darwin. Doctor's Gully, where you can hand feed the barramundi, which come right up to the shore. The Botanic Gardens, which have a lot of exotic species. It's very beautiful. And the Northern Territory Museum, which has lots of Aboriginal artwork. After our evening in Darwin, we'll be traveling to Kakadu National Park, which is about four hours drive inland. We'll be camp camping at the famous Jim Jim Falls. We're going to be exploring caverns and rivers and cliff diving. One of the highlights of swimming at Jim Jim Falls is that you might get to see a freshie, which is a freshwater crocodile. Unlike their saltwater friends, they are not dangerous at all and they're actually quite shy and retiring. On day nine, we arrive in Auckland, New Zealand, a beautiful modern city, similar to Sydney in a lot of ways, very international. You might get a chance to enjoy some cultural understandings of the Maori people, shown here in the middle. You'll get a chance to go up to the top of the tower. You'll go to the lookout, we'll check out the winter gardens and the aquarium, and the Parnell Rose Gardens, which should be in full bloom. On day 10, we drive up the coast so that we can visit Raglan, famous site of some of the best surfing in the world. 
you'll get an opportunity to work with our instructors to learn how to surf in this amazing, beautiful, natural wonder. Then it's back to Auckland in the evening so that we can take a quick flight to Fiji. Our trip concludes at the Five Star Resort in Fiji. A nice relaxing bungalow right over the water is available for you to refresh after all of your adventures. If you're still in an adventuring mood, however, you can kayak up the coast with us. We'll be able to swim with the dolphins, take a cultural tour, and explore some of the mangroves and caves that are right along the coast. When we're done, we'll have a nice dinner together to say goodbye, and then we'll head back to Sydney by flight so that we can pick up our flights home. The entire package is all-inclusive, so all airfare, all land travel, all accommodations, all meals, and all adventures are included. The total cost of the package per person is $8,700 in USD. So we hope to see you soon down under in Pacifica.